Well, the Delhi Metro is all set to resume services from the 7th of September after an unprecedented five-month gap. Delhi Transport Minister Kailash Gehlot announced the various curbs which will be put into place. The trains will not stop at all stations and stations are to resume functioning in a phased manner. Social distancing norms will be mandatory and the transit will be smart card only. The token system would remain suspended and air conditioning will also be renovated. Moreover, stations and containment zones will continue to remain shut and comparing mass transit systems worldwide while severe restrictions were imposed in the London tube, New York subway shut down for four hours overnight for the first time in almost 115 years. Lack of public transit in Delhi led to many inconveniences and increased financial burdens for both commuters and the rail network. But the question we are asking is whether the decision is wise and pragmatic as we learn to live with the virus, or is it too hasty given a possible spike in cases in Delhi in the near future? We'll talk about this with our guest. Joining me on the program is uh, uh, Dr. D.K. Gupta, CMD, Felix Hospital. Yogendra Kapoor, economist, also joins us on the program. Shivam Chabra, BJP spokesperson, is also here with us. And Dr. Ajoy Kumar who's uh, the Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson, will also be joining us for uh, Dr. Gupta, how difficult or easy will it be uh, for people to, in fact, gain that confidence that, you know, you can go back into the metro and uh, not contract the COVID-19? Yeah, it will be very difficult because we know that infection is rising, number of cases rising daily, deaths are happening nowadays, and... But there is less fear in people now, and we need transport also. Guidelines have been uh, released by the Delhi Metro Corporation. They should be implemented at ground level. They should be audited frequently so that they are actually implemented, like screening, thermal screening, contact less travel, and uh, contact less travel and touch less travel. That is very important. So these, what, whatever we are seen in the guidelines today, like uh, there should be no frisking, there should be uh, adequate amount of sanitizers all over, there should be no like alternative to the Yes. Gupta, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, in, in an environment, in an insulated environment, which is found in a metro, where the air inside the metro is uh, recirculated and reproduced by the conditioner, isn't the likelihood of an infection being transmitted from one end of the car to the other extreme, very high or not? I think most probably they have taken care of this point also because if we, if we have separate air handling units for separate each coach, then it can be prevented. We need separate air handling unit of air conditioner in the all the departments, so all the compartments, so that it can be hand, it, it, one infection from one compartment will not go to the. What if, what if that is not taken care of? What if that's the investment the Delhi government doesn't want to make? What then? Isn't the likelihood of somebody getting infected in a metro station or a metro... And there is a chance because in hospitals also, in we have a central air conditioning plant and in during this COVID period, we have that central air conditioning plant has been deactivated or we have customized it as per requirement. Like we have separate air handling, air handling units, we have uh, like uh, 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 and purifiers inside the hospital. So same thing they have, I think, implemented in the metro also, most probably to reduce the chance of infection. 